I'm going to look at these capacitors here. Brand new capacitors. Well, I've had them for a while. They're new, but old stock, I suppose you could say. And I went to go and use some, and they aren't very good. It's not a name brand, it's Suntan, which I think I got from J-Car or something like that. We'll have a look at them on the meter here, and I'll also look at them on the power supply, and I'll show you what I found. So the first thing I'll do is I'll just go through ESRs of each of these, because that's a nice common measurement, everyone uses ESR, don't they? So let's just have a look at this. Stick one on here, one there, 1.3 millifarad, and 0.19 ohms ESR. Looks okay, doesn't it? Okay, let's check one of ones which I know is definitely bad. This one, well, in fact, I know these are all bad, I've already tested them all. Apart from two, which are failing. So these two are definitely bad. Lower uh, capacitance, 1.18 ohms ESR. Again, you look at that and think, well, it's not that bad, 1.18. I mean, these are 10 volt, uh, 1000 microfarad, and 105 degree rated caps, so there's actually the specs on the surface look okay. I've had these caps for about eight years, be about that, I think. I was actually using them to get rid of them because I don't want to have these cheaper brand caps, I want to have you know good quality stuff. So um, I put these ones up at the time because at the time that's all I could get at the uh, the urgency I needed them at. I needed them like the same day, so yeah, anyway. So I think, okay, that's those two. Let's go through this rack here with this tape of all these capacitor values. So we go through each one, look at the ESI of each one. So 0.04, that's not looking too bad. These bo bottom two are the better two out of the whole lot. 0 0.1, 0 0.24, 0 0.21, 0.5, that one's pretty bad. Okay, so that's ESRs, right? So you know, ESRs, you know, a very small measurement and it's a very broad range it could be in and still be an okay capacitor. So okay, let's do ESL, uh, dissipation instead. So we've done ESR, let's do dissipation. So we'll do the same row of capacitors. So that the lighting, block, washing the splay out and stuff like that, but anyway, so 0.26, that's a little bit on the high side. 0.7, that's pretty bad. And those are the two cats which are performing the best. 0.16, uh, sorry, 1.65, that's really bad. 1.5, and 2.3, this one's particularly bad. Right, so that's dissipation. So dissipation gives you a much clearer picture about whether the caps are performing correctly or not. So it's do this. I'm going to show you something else in the power supply soon as well, so make sure you stick around and see that because it's quite interesting. This one's 2.6, which is one of the ones I put in and then removed. That's a 1. These other ones here, which I also pulled out from laying around. 1.3, 3, 1.7. Alright, so all these dissipations look bad. And this is the best one here. Right, this is the best cat. 0.27. That's still not wonderful. Let me get a decent cap out and I'll show you what a decent one looks like. So this is a Nichicon 1000 microfarad, 25 volts, so it's not exactly the same, but it's the closest thing I've got. Let's stick this on. Dissipation 1.2. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. Okay. Well, I just grabbed a bad one of those as well. 0.2 ohms. Hmm. Okay. That's curious. That's worse than I thought it'd be. It's going on. Some of these cats have been sitting here for a while, so maybe they are due for replacement. There you go. Point zero three ohms ESR. Back to dissipation on this one. Point one nine. There we go. So it looks like I just picked up a bad Nichicon as well. Hmm. What's the chance of that? Okay. So let's fight the power supply, and I'll show you something on that. So this cap here I just showed just then is a this one, which was a better value is a 16 volt Rubicon and I'll just give me a high dissipation are the Nichicon 25 volts or two of those I'll just try another one as well gives the same results so that's interesting anyway we'll try on the power supply so as you can see I've got it set to 4 volts here so it's way below the rated voltages of these caps I've got a current limit set at 1.1 amps just that's what happens to be so let's get one of these ones which I pulled out which I know are definitely bad because that's how I found they were bad 
Oh, now that one's looking alright. Mm hmm. Curious. Let's try another one. Get away around. One amp. Let's take this bag off before it goes bang. That's drawing one amp. So these were a, was it 0.2 ohms or something? Dissipation or ESR, sorry. Let's go ESR on this one. And we'll really look at that. You can just see it on the shot there, can't you? So we just saw the voltage. Actually, I should discharge it. Let's just discharge it across here like that. Okay. Not like it's going to hold any power anyway. 0.12 ohms, sorry, 0.16 ohms ESR, which on service doesn't look too bad. But obviously, it is because it is draw an amp. Let's just look at these Nichicon ones, which gave me some interesting results just now. Let's shove that on. That's fine, power supply, it's not bothered at all. No current draw. That's perfectly happy. I guess it's just the dissipations on these is quite high, which is interesting. Same the other one. No problem, that's okay. So that's not an issue on those ones. So let's just look at some more of these other ones then. We, we looked at them all, so let's hook this up. And I'm just going to tap it on here. One amp. Capacitor may draw a current initially, but then it will um, it will drop off. Usually it's so fast you don't even see it. This is the other one which I replaced. That's drawing an amp. Check this one here. That's drawing an amp. So let's go through this strip here of all the different ones. So let's just clip it onto there and try not to shot them out. So try and do it off shot. That one there is doing okay, but both we know it's bad because the values aren't quite right. Next one. That's drawing 30 milliamps and climbing. So bad. Next one draws an amp. Next one draws 100 milliamps and dropping. And this one draws an amp. So every single one of these caps basically is bad, but one of these ones I've pulled out before, actually, which I know measured bad originally, is doing okay. It's actually not showing up. Yeah, so this one here was yeah, behaving better now than it was when I first pulled it out. So it looks like that one might have actually self-healed slightly. So obviously there's an issue with the, the breakdown of the capacitors where all of these have just gone bad. That You know, you shouldn't be drawing an amp through a capacitor. Shouldn't happen. What happens if we don't do anything about that and just leave it powered on? Well, it'll probably explode. Should we show that? Should we show an exploding capacitor? Hmm. Let's do it. Be a good photo. So, you ready? Ready for the action? Let's see what happens. Let's stick on a bench like this. Let's just get the camera a little bit closer. This is going to be messy. Right, here we go. Let's do it. I'm going to keep the power on to if it self heals or it blows up. Ready? Covering my eyes up in case it goes bang all over the place. Oh, let's drop down to 300 milliamps. 200 milliamps. Oh, might go bang. It's 300 milliamps. Oh, might be disappointed. 70. Fifty milliamps now. Oh, it's warm. Doing forty milliamps. Hmm, that's a fail. Let's try another one. Right, here we go. I put the power supply up to ten volts, which is what this thing's supposed to take, and increased the current to two amps. So this could be a bit more spectacular. Doing two amps. Got my face covered up. Still drawing two amps. 
Here we go. Count it down to 300 milliamps now. 100 milliamps. See the smoke coming off. Okay, that was that. Was that exciting enough? I don't know. All right, here we go. Let's do this again. Same settings on the power supply. Drawing full current. What's going to happen? Here we go. And let's do one more. Because why not? Ready? Destroying full current. Nice. Can't see the smoke though, is there any problem? Can you see the smoke? Not really. Doesn't really show up. Still drawing 100 milliamps. And just to prove I'm not doing anything funny with the power supply. Well, you can't see it. Anyway, it's doing 10 volts. So there we are. There's our three sacrificial caps. Shall we see what happens if I, um, well, discharge them differently for start. And let's see if I can measure them. See if there's any difference in the values because, you know, they're now exploded. Let's have a look. We've got there, there, 600 microfarads, 0.29 ESR. It's blown up and it's got a 0.3 ESR. Actually, let's look at dissipation as well, shall we? Okay, 1.1 dissipation. Not that different, really, is it? And yet it's blown up. This one here, one dissipation, but the obviously the capacitance has dropped significantly. This one's still warm. Very different in capacitance. So yes, this one was exploded quite nicely. So even though these caps were powered within their rating, 10 volts, these are 10 volt caps. As you know, at four, at four volts, the first one went. I think yeah, the first one's at four volts, and then I increase the voltage up to 10 volts after that. This is what happens with bad caps. Brand new bad caps. Don't buy cheap ones. Get good brands. Get good brands. And for those that may be sceptical, here are my leads, which I was using, right? And as you can see, they go straight back to the power supply. And yes, the positive is in the positive, and the negative is in the negative, as you can see. Right? For those that are sceptical about what I was doing there. I mean, yeah. Bad caps. Don't forget to subscribe. Give us a thumbs up if you liked the video. If you found it interesting. About reasons not to buy cheap caps. And... Um, I'll catch you in the next one, I suppose. Have a comment down below, too, if you've got any experience of bad caps blowing up on you. Why not? Let's have a chat. Don't forget my merch. I've got cups and stuff. Catch you later. Bye.